Hey guys, this is Dando. Um, this is my first attempt at trying to do a little video to help you out with some uh, scar coding from mappers. Um, I'm trying to do my best telephone voice here, but you just have to work bear with me a little bit. Now you can see um, what I've done, I've just had a very simple S map and we've got um, just a HQ and a map entry point for each player. You can see over there that everything's kind of normal. And what we've done is just saved this as a, t a map called Test Map, um, just to give you a kind of initial flavour. Um, you can see that what I've done is save that into my uh, my documents, my games company heroes, WW2 data scenarios MP folder, and you can see there that there's all of the kind of map files that World Builder makes. Um, what we're going to do now is actually um, have a quick look at just adding some markers to your map. Now if we click a little red flag here, you can see that we're already in scar markers mode. And what we can do is just try adding a test. Um, marker to our map. So we'll just give it a quick name, we'll just call this test marker. Okay. And we can click on this little button here just to show the names. It just makes it a little bit easier to tell what we're doing. We'll put that right in the middle because it doesn't really map. And we'll just save that. And basically what these markers do is they let you refer to kind of a position on the map without actually having to kind of describe it in this um, X, Y, Z axis of business. Um, and that's a much easier way of doing it than trying to hand code everything. As you can see, you can also just move these around to wherever you need them. Okay, we'll just save that again. And you can see that in our this fi uh, scar file, I guess, made the test map ID file. You can see that this marker name has been added there. That just makes it a lot easier to us, for us to refer to that in code as well. We can just call it literally test marker. Okay, so what we'll do is actually knock up this scar file very quickly. Um, first of all, what we do is just right click, add a new text document and we'll call this test map and we do need to make sure here that the name of the map is exactly um, matched up there we go right, okay so if we open that up what we'll do is we'll just add our first couple of lines of code I'm just going to refer to another scar file here one of it's got a big one so just uh, bear with me and what we're going to do is first of all just add our import scar detail and basically what this does is it uh, imports all of the scar commands that relic have already programmed into the game and we, we always need to make sure we've got that in a map file. The next thing we're going to do is add our on game setup, just copy and paste in that in. And basically, this is one of our kind of our first like special uh, function names. It's always going to be called this on game setup. You can see the little brackets at the end to just show it's a function. Um, basically, this runs automatically as soon as you start the map. Because we've got a two player map here, what we need to do is just tell the game that we were two players. And then we can then end that function. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do, and just bear with me while I'm scrolling through this, is add our on it um, function. I'm not even sure I said that right. Um, okay, and basically this is another special function. This also runs basically as soon as the game actually kind of starts, and you can do a lot of kind of special commands here. And what we're going to do is use this to actually set our player resources just to kind of give you a working example you can try out for yourselves. Okay, now again, I've got quite a big file here, so you can just ignore much of this. And what we're going to do is just add some manpower markers for our first two players. You can see player one and player two there, and we end that function. Basically, what that'll do at the moment is when the map starts, both of the players will actually have zero manpower, so that's probably not very good. What we'll do is instead we'll give them 500 to just make things a bit more interesting. Okay, and you can put whatever your number you like in there. You can put 5,000 if you want that. So, okay. Now, on it's a bit of a, a strange function that it also an additional little bit of code just to make it run otherwise nothing happens so what we need to do is just add this scar add on it and, oh God, I can't even say that right okay so we'll just save that again and that's basically um, a working scar file that should actually run when, when the map starts both players should start with 5000 manpower now you might also have a situation where you maybe need to add more players and you can see there that we can just um, add the relevant kind of numbers of players to the map. Now it's a little bit tricky here in that you need to make sure that the um, the number of players you add on the map and in the code is exactly the same that kind of starts in the game. So if we if we did have eight players here and we tried to start the game with four, it would just crash. That wouldn't work. Um, okay, I'll tell you what as well. While we're here, we'll just do a, another little example. We'll just add these set up set player races as well. So if we add this into our on game stop. And we'll just move that to a two. Well, that all that'll do is it set um, our starting races for the two players as well. So it basically overrides kind of the player's choice of that 
um, interval. Okay, we'll save that again. Now, there's one thing I've actually forgotten to do here. At the moment, this is just a text file. It's a text document. It's a, a .txt file. Basically, that won't work. The, the um, company here doesn't know what to do with that. So, what we need to do is just do a file, save as, and you can see it's sitting in the right place already. And we just need to change this type to all files and add the extension .scar on the end. Save that again. Just close that now. And you can see that we've actually got now a SCAR file, um, a very small one, um, that will actually matches up exactly with the name of the file. It's located with the other files. So basically when the map runs now, that will actually take effect. Okay, um, I think this is a little bit scary, so I'm going to stop now. I uh, hope that's been useful, guys. Cheers.